Yo, we need to talk about coding boot camps. There has been some news on the internet the last couple of weeks, if not I guess the last month, about a particular YouTuber that scammed people to believe that their online coding bootcamp, online courses, can pretty much guarantee them that they'll get a job at a top tier tech company after using their online bootcamp. And now they're getting sued. The point of this video today though is not to bash another YouTuber. The point of this video is to make sure that you don't just attend or just trust anyone when it comes to an online coding bootcamp but you do your research, you make sure you don't get scammed, and how do you find out what is the right school to attend? We're gonna talk about that in this video right now. First of all, I wanna thank Oreo for sponsoring this video. Not so long ago, when we thought about theft, we were worried about someone breaking into our homes or maybe robbing us on our way to the store. Now, these crimes are far from harmless, but at least we were able to see the crime as it was happening right in front of us. The problem with identity theft in the world we live in today is that we don't even know that the crime has been committed against us as a victim until days, months, if not maybe even years after it has happened. Check out this interesting fact. Identity theft cost people in the US $56 billion in 2020. Someone becomes a victim of identity theft every 14 seconds. Not even just that, check this out. People active on social media are more likely to have their identities stolen. That means I better watch out. Fraud is a major issue, but it is possible to protect yourself by taking the right steps. That is why Aura is here sponsoring this video. Aura is an identity theft protection company that helps people monitor their personal information to protect it from hackers, data breaches, malware, phishing attacks, and other threats to the digital security. Its all-in-one service includes identity theft, monitoring, financial fraud detection, and device security for you and your family. Aura also offers restoration and recovery assistance, which can help you mitigate any damage caused by ID theft or data breaches. You can go ahead and learn more about Aura in the link in the description below. And Aura, I wanna thank you for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into it. So let's talk about boot camps. Are coding boot camps worth it? The age long question. As a self-taught developer, I like to say yes and no. I think it really depends on the person. Number one, do you have the discipline to do all the homework they give you? When it comes to coding bootcamp, they're gonna ask you to commit six, nine hours a day. A lot of them ask you, you'll actually have to quit your job to be able to go to a full-time coding bootcamp and graduate in three to four months. There are some part-time coding bootcamps out there, but that means it'll take you maybe nine months to graduate instead. For someone like me, I don't do well with homework. For someone like me, I do need someone to push me, but I think my self-determination is strong enough to the point where I can self-teach myself. Some people don't have that. Some people need to be pushed. Someone need a teacher to really get on them if they don't do your homework. And you know what? Making friends and coding bootcamp as you're all learning and struggling and messing up together will help you as well. So is coding bootcamp worth it? I am leaning more on, yes, it's worth it. Do you need it? It's not the all end all be all, but it is definitely a really good factor to decide. And I'd personally choose coding bootcamp over college. Number two, watch out for scams. Just because someone guarantees you to get a job in six to nine months doesn't mean that you'll get a job in six to nine months. I never guarantee that you'll get a job in six to nine months because of my YouTube videos, but it is a guide for you to follow to help you try to obtain a job in six months, if not a year, depending on how much time you have when it comes to learning code. Just because a website says they're a coding bootcamp does not mean that they're a good coding bootcamp. Someone that I'm mentoring at the moment left the military not too long ago. They're almost at the end of their curriculum in their coding bootcamp. But guess what that coding bootcamp asked them to do? That coding bootcamp told them to lie in their applications saying they already had two years of experience. Is this not a red flag or is this not a red flag? If a coding bootcamp is telling you to lie in your resume that you have two years of professional experience, when you don't have two years of professional experience, what does that mean? They are probably not teaching you everything you need to know to get a job. So again, just because they say they're a good coding bootcamp does not mean they're a good coding bootcamp. Then how do I find out they're a good coding bootcamp, Chris? Number one, you look for a coding bootcamp that you like 
You do research on them. Number two, you try to find people who have attended that coding bootcamp. You go to LinkedIn, you search people who have that coding bootcamp on their LinkedIn, on their resume, you message them. You find them on Twitter. Twitter is amazing for a reason because you can message anyone on Twitter. Check out the comments. Maybe they left comments on a Twitter about the bootcamp. Do everything you can to find out anything about them. Obviously, maybe reach out to a recruiter that works at that bootcamp, but don't trust everything they say. Next, on top of that, when it comes to watching out, you don't get scammed or you just don't attend the wrong coding bootcamp, I think make sure you're learning the right curriculum. Some coding bootcamps are still teaching PHP. Some coding bootcamps are still teaching Ruby. Nothing gets Ruby. I have a lot of friends who work in Ruby, okay? But what I'm trying to say is there are just not as many jobs in Ruby as compared to JavaScript. I suggest if you're trying to find a job as fast as possible, go to a coding bootcamp that will teach you the full JavaScript MERN stack. What I'm trying to say is full stack JavaScript also makes sure you're mainly learning React.js because that's where all the jobs are today. Going to a coding bootcamp to learn technology that is not as in demand as JavaScript is a very big mistake. Now, how much do coding bootcamps cost? Now, from what I've seen, coding bootcamps can average from around $12,000 to $20,000 today, which is absolutely insane. Now, is the ROI there? Yes, if the curriculum is good. Yes, if you're prepared. Now, a coding bootcamp, if it costs ten to twenty thousand dollars, that's fine. I guess that's better than going to a college where you spend twenty to fifty thousand dollars, but it takes you four years to get your freaking degree. Okay, but then instead get your certificate piece of paper from a coding bootcamp in maybe three to six months. I guess that's a little better. But I think this is a really big mistake that people make is that they go straight into a coding bootcamp and they don't fully prepare. No matter how much it costs, they don't fully prepare. They don't take the time to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript. They try to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript only when they join the coding bootcamp, which will make it so much more difficult difficult for you. What I highly recommend is that when it comes to a coding bootcamp, that you take the time to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript for at least six months, if not nine months before going to a coding bootcamp so that you can better focus on the more difficult, the technical parts of a bootcamp than only focusing on the basics. This will help you go a long way. And I think it's one of the many reasons why so many people fail at a coding bootcamp. College or coding bootcamp, I know I talked about this a little bit in the beginning. Honestly, to be quite frank with y'all, if I was 18 and I had a college scholarship or my parents are paying for my college, get your computer science degree. It'll help you so much and help you go a long way. There's no doubt about that. But a lot of us learning code right now or deciding to learn code are in our mid to later 20s, if not our mid 30s or 40s, if not 50s. We don't have the option of going back to college because we work full time, we're trying to survive, we're trying to support our family. So college or coding bootcamp, if you're in later 20s, late 20s and up, I'd suggest a coding bootcamp. Now, if I had a choice of coding bootcamp or self-taught, I would personally, if it was me, go the self-taught route because it's cheaper. I believe in myself, but if you feel like you need to be pushed more, coding bootcamp, nothing wrong with it at all. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. If y'all have any questions, if I miss anything, if you got anything wrong, or you have any feedback, let me know in the comment section below. I read all my comments. I love you all. Thank you for watching. This is the life of a developer, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.